Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video, and the more I think about this, kind of the more it infuriates me, or the more irritated I get about it, because I talk to a lot of people on Instagram and such, like just people that watch my videos, and surprisingly, a lot of people with eating disorders reach out to me. I don't know if it's because I'm struggling with my own weight journey, uh, even though I'm on the total opposite of the spectrum from a lot of you guys. You know, Sean, Obi-Wan Cannoli, I'll teach you how to gain some weight real quick, but keeping it off is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get it off. But the fact that this woman, Tess Holiday, can sit here and say she's anorexic and the proof's in the damn pudding or the cheesecake or the Snickers or whatever the hell this lady's eating, she is not anorexic. Nothing screams malnourished about her body. And... I think it's disgusting and it's a slap in the face to like people who actually struggle with eating disorders, binge eating, whatever it might be. There's a lot of people out there who struggle with something like that. And I think that just has to do with people having a hard time being happy in their own skin or accepting who they are. I mean, if you're happy at what weight you're at, more power to you. I always tell people when they're like, what's my ideal weight or what's this? I'm like, Whatever makes you feel confident and happy, as long as it's not affecting your health. But this body positive, whatever, when you're morbidly obese, that's an issue. You you can't be sitting there and spouting all these like ignorant half-truths about healthy at every weight and blah, blah, blah. Be she could ha be pretty healthy and not have underlying health issues yet, but they're coming, sweetie. And I don't know how old she is, but... Father time's not friendly to people who are morbidly obese, so let's check this out. I can't believe she's still on this. Gorgeous, Ted. Thank you. Model Tess Holiday, known for her bright red hair and body positivity. She's amassed over 2 million followers on Instagram. And Bro, look at that's 2 million people that are buying this BS. This chick is not anorexic. This chick has buffet syndrome. That's what she's freaking got. This is this is such bull. Major brand partnerships. But below the surface, Tess says she's been suffering with an eating disorder. I wasn't taking care of myself in the way I needed. I wasn't looking after my mental health in the ways that I should have. I was always making sure that everyone else's cup was full and I wasn't filling my own. F get out of here. Your shit was just as full as anybody else's. And I can honestly say that without joking around you are not malnourished as dr now would say and it's disgusting that you're gonna sit here and say like oh i was worried about everybody else eating sweetheart you didn't miss a damn meal like nobody friggin' sitting here is actually buying this bs but i guess if you identify as anorexic i gotta call you anorexic I... so i think that's how i went so long without really being able to address, you know, myself and my disordered eating. The 35-year-old mother of two says her decades-long disordered eating caught up to her in the last year. I would go all day without eating, and I would chalk it up to, I'm busy, I'm this. But the thing is, I had hunger pain all day. What? Look, I could go all day without eating and be hungry, the problem is, that doesn't make you anorexic, because once you hit the end of that day, and you eat, like, three large pizzas, you are no longer anorexic. You're anorexic for the day, like, and I don't think that's how this disorder works. I don't know much about anorexia, but I think you are just spitting in the face of people who actually have it. This is disgusting to me. And I was sick all day. Oh, I'm busy. I'm a mom. I'm this. I'm working. I'll eat later. I'll eat later. But later never happened. And then at nighttime, you know, usually when my kids were in bed and I could settle, I would eat one meal and then I would go to bed. Holiday sought help. That's not anorexia then. She has a form of anorexia, a revelation that has received some support as well as anger and skepticism. I'm pretty pissed off myself as somebody who was over 600 pounds, right? You know what? I should have just told people I was anorexic just to watch them laugh at me.
but I really think that it's disgusting that you could sit here and spout this kind of nonsense. And just, it's gross to me, man. I don't like this one bit. I don't know what world she comes from where she can eat one meal a day and then claim she's anorexic. Because it doesn't work like that, right? That would be binge eating if she just ate one big meal. And she would be intermittent fasting at that point. So she probably would be losing weight. So I ain't buying that shit at all. This chick's got some Cheetos. She's got something tucked away in her prison pocket. I bet if you lifted her yitties, you would find some Funyuns or something. I am plus size, but advocating for diversity and larger bodies. And so I think for people hearing me say I'm anorexic was Bullshit. really jarring <laughs> and hard and confusing. I've had a lot of messages from folks that are anorexic that are livid and angry because... You're damn right they're livid. If I was them, I would want to... Put, put my hands on you for real because this is crazy to me you are making light of something that's very serious my understanding is anorexia is like the most deadly of the eating disorders it's serious people are sitting out here like literally on death's door because of anorexia and you're sitting here at 400 pounds claiming you're anorexic to a friggin news station just get the hell out of here. This is disgusting. Somebody needs to cancel this chick. They feel like I'm lying. What do you want you to are. say to people who don't believe you, who are skeptical when you say you're anorexic? You're to right. that don't believe me, you know, that I'm anorexic and that this is what I'm dealing with, um, it doesn't really matter. Because at the end of the day, this is my truth. If this resonates with you, if you... Oh, bitch, please. Your fucking truth. Your truth is that you ain't missed a damn meal in years. You might have skipped one or two for a photo shoot so you could look a pound skinnier or whatever. But you ain't skipping meals. The proof is in the pudding. Like, and, you know, as they say, must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. Because she definitely ain't skipping meals. You need help? Get help. If this helps you feel less alone, great. It's so much more powerful just to say, hey, I'm hurting. And if you're hurting too, that's okay. You know, you don't have to do this alone. That's having the willingness oh. to speak out about her experience, no. acknowledging some of the backlash that she is receiving is an indication of... Sweetie, any backlash you are getting is so warranted. You should be getting it 10 times worse. People are too damn nice because honest to God, if somebody 400 pounds goes to a friggin' like eating disorder clinic and come walks in there, I'm anorexic. Ordinary bravery and an indication of, uh, you know, her health and healing and some of her process. Tess confided in the council of Anna Sweeney, specializing in eating disorders, who says Tess has atypical anorexia. Bro. Atypical anorexia. Yeah, you got B typical. B for buffet. That's what you got. But this would be like friggin' Amberlynn Reed coming out tomorrow and saying that she's a size 2. Or she wears a 0 from Torrid. I don't know. You guys explained to me that those are like plus sizes. I don't know. I still don't know what the hell is going on with Torrid. Yeah, which would imply the same. Look at that. She got a little friggin starbucks drink so she could claim she's got to have a big one tucked away somewhere there ain't no way that that is satisfying her just saying big dogs gotta eat physiological characteristics of anorexia nervosa except for body size accounts for anywhere between two and four percent of the population hold Tess up says it was her psychologist who initially diagnosed her a shock even for the model i told the psychologist well, I won't eat all day. You know, I'll maybe have... If I went to you for help and you told me I was anorexic, I'm going to question your sanity and think you need to go get some damn help. Because no shot. No shot in hell. No, no, Like coffee no. or maybe I'll have, uh, you know, a handful of whatever's around me. And then at nighttime, I'll have my meal or snacks or whatever so i thought that that meant that i was a binge eater and you the psychologist are. looked at me and said you're anorexic and then i just started crying 
She says, And you said, I'm anorexic, so I can sit here and shout it from the rooftops and get some sympathy from the anorexic people, but they're going to be pissed at you. Like, you're sitting here throwing... Does the fat positivity movement really want to start claiming they're anorexic now? When they've been claiming they can eat whatever they want. Yes, go off, queen. Another Snickers. You are that bitch. Like, no. That's just not how it works. Has online hate played into her struggles? Yeah, I am a model, right? I am successful. I've been and doing more power this for to a you. long time. I've been talking about you know, self-acceptance and, and loving yourself and fat acceptance for a long Look, I, my problem with the fat acceptance movement is, like, if you want to sit here and shout all this whatever, that's fine. You're just leading people in the wrong direction because there's a lot that comes with accepting your fatness, right? You're going to run into all kinds of health hurdles later on in life. In life, and if you want to call, if you want to call yourself a confidence coach, I'm fine with that. Be confident, go off with who you are, like, be happy, sit here and spout, like, I love me some me, I love me some me, I'm freaking awesome. But I'm not sitting here telling people it's okay to be 600 pounds either. That's just freaking ridiculous. Time, but I still deal with it. I still get people that make me feel like, and that's okay. Because unfortunately, it's going to take a long time to change society's um, ridiculous standards. I have had people shouting at me my entire career that all I do is sit around and eat, and I was starving. Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit. You are not starving. And if you are, you probably got some kind of damn disorder or disease or something where you are like a hype hyperactive gut i don't know it's digesting too damn fast like you were just putting food away and it's gone and i think that would make you skinny right if you're anorexic and bro this chick is just friggin cracked like her she's gone she's checked out she ain't coming home i was literally starving and i didn't realize that that meant that i was anorexic i didn't realize that i was mindfully restricting not eating you're saying you weren't purposely not eating in order to be skinny if you're anorexic it's a purposeful thing i think i was almost punishing myself and how long do you feel like you've been purposely punishing yourself I've you know what i skipped lunch today hell i'm anorexic too Shit, we figured it out guys and again if she's anorexic i've got to figure out where her calories are coming from somewhere and the only thing I can figure is semen has calories. I Googled it the other day. I'm a curious person. I was wondering how this chick could be anorexic. And the only thing is if she's glug glugging down like massive loads. Because it's like 5 or 20 calories per teaspoon. Which means this chick's got to be taking down 3 gallons of jizz a day to keep that kind of body frame. So maybe she's just a gluck gluck 9,000 throat goat or something. I don't know. But she's getting them calories from somewhere. I've had an eating disorder since when my mom almost died when I was 10. That's when it happened. So from the age of 10 until now, I've struggled with disordered eating, with restrictive eating for the past decade. Eating okay. disorders <laughs> certainly do not... The only restriction you had was the same one I had, which was what my pockets wouldn't let me afford to eat as much as I wanted to eat. Like, food's expensive. And when you get that damn big, you're ordering more food. And that's the only restrictive diet you had, because you were on the seafood diet. You saw it, you ate it. And there's no lying about your damn weight. Like, I understand that people can have underlying health issues that make them overweight, whatever. You don't. You are not anorexic. You're insane for sitting here and saying you are. And telling people you're fat positive, they need to accept you as anorexic, and all the people that actually struggle with eating disorders are disgusting human beings because they're coming after you for claiming you're... Eugenia Cooney is anorexic. You are not. You're fat. That's all there is to it. No sugarcoating that. But you couldn't sugar... 
you're anorexic. It's not occur for one simple reason. There are a million things that can go right for a person and one thing goes wrong and an eating disorder comes to fruition. And so certainly trauma can be an initiating factor. Eating disorders are extremely common and may affect nearly one in every 10 people. According to a study, about 9% of the U.S. population, almost 29 million people. Look, I think they're more common than I even realized because a lot of people reach out to me and tell me that they struggle with anorexia or some form of body dysmorphia. And I, I like talking to you. I don't know much about the topic, but I'm here for you. I think it's like the bot the impossible beauty standards that are, they're putting on a lot of young women, especially. They're the ones that are struggling with this and it's just it's impossible as a guy i think it's a lot easier for us unfortunately that's just how it goes guys are a lot less i don't know affected by the stuff we're still affected like don't get me wrong but for young women nobody's gonna look like kim k without 20k as i like to say so it's hard because young girls don't know what to do i think with that and it's I don't know. I don't know how you would even tell your daughter that because she's eventually going to struggle. You're going to see it like there's so many pitfalls when it comes to stuff like this. And social media, I think, proudly makes it worse because it's so hard on people. But uh, I'm rambling. People will have an eating disorder in their lifetime. There's nothing but messaging that comes from the world that says the worst thing that can happen to you is you might live in, in a fat body. And so if everyone is efforting to be smaller, 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 and we know okay. that that's just not possible for most people. Why? You can't look at someone and tell whether or not they're healthy. You just can't. You can't tell what their like blood pressure is or this or that. Doctors were telling me I was fat, but healthy. Like my levels were good. My Everything was coming back okay. But I was heading for an early grave. Like, I was over 600 pounds. There was no way you could tell me body positive Sean was positively fat as hell. That's what I was, okay? I'm still fat. 315 ain't skinny. I still got a ways to go. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you I'm anorexic. Like, that's just insane. I can't believe that you had the cojones to do this. Like I said, unless, unless you're the Gluck Gluck 9000 and you really are anorexic, I don't know. I understand that people look at me and I don't fit what we have seen presented as the diagnosis for anorexia. But then for me, that tells me that there's a larger problem, which I've been actually saying for years, is that we have a lack of diversity and representation in the world. Now, in recovery, Tess says she's on a healthier path, which for her includes three meals a day and a focus. Recovery? What? She, she needs to be on a damn diet, not recovery. If, if, what? You eat more? Like, uh, your, your own recovery. This is ass backwards. Like, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. This is crazy. On the future. I had been happier in the last six months through my recovery for you. than I've been in my entire life. I feel whole. I feel at peace. I really feel in my power for the first time. All right. Like, you're not anorexic. Atypical, B typical, C typical for calorie crushing. Like, I don't know. Bro, some doctors say eating too healthy could be dangerous. Tess Holiday and it was all about that. But the fact that I covered this once already, right? And I saw this video and I was like, man, the complexities of her eating disorder, I gotta look at this. Because it's so outlandish, it's so unreal, the fact that this chick could sit here and preach how mean the anorexic community is to her, they're not accepting her, blah, blah, blah. She's body positively anorexic. Like, it's outrageous. It's unreal. And somebody needs to tell this chick to go somewhere and shove it up, whatever. You know, she... Unreal, dude. I can't believe this. I think that I'm just going to identify as skinny from now on. 
And can't nobody tell me shit. I don't gotta lose any more weight. I identify as skinny. Sean is out of here, guys. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace. Test friggin' holiday.